Hey, Aaron Rabinowitz here for Red Giant. In this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use Magic Bullet LUT Buddy, a free plugin from Red Giant that allows you to communicate color changes between After Effects, Premiere Pro, and Final Cut Pro, and to share those color corrections with higher end systems like DaVinci Resolve. Now, I'm not going to get into an explanation of LUTs or lookup tables and how they work. I'm just going to show you how to use LUT Buddy to export and import lookup tables. Even if you don't fully understand LUTs, this will definitely give you what you need to know to get started. Okay, so here I am in After Effects, and I've got some footage of my daughter, and, um, you know, I didn't shoot this very well. There's not a lot of contrast uh, as well, so I just want to do some basic color correction to this to just give it a little more punch and uh, pull the colors a little more away from the yellows, which they're in right now. So, I've got my footage selected, and I'm going to choose the most basic kind of color correction, effects, color correction, and let's go with uh, curves, right? And this will use to affect the contrast if you do this right. So, let me just bring up my highlights, bring down my shadows, and you can see we've really, we've really intensified the look of the footage. Okay, so with that done, the next thing that I want to do is uh, do some basic color correction. And with that, I'll choose Effect, Magic Bullet, Colorista, and I'll use Colorista Free. And just so we're clear, um, what I'm doing here with Colorista Free is just changing the colors of the overall footage. After Effects is able to read that, and even though there's an interface, a really shiny, interesting looking interface, what's really happening is happening under the hood. These are just telling, uh, setting numbers and things that we don't see. And that's what's important because LUT Buddy is going to see the color changes. It's not going to look at these tools and say, oh, I need to add this tool into the next program where I'm bringing that lookup table. It's just looking at the color. So in a case where I'm using Curves or Colorista Free or any of the other color correction tools uh, that are in here, um, most of them anyway, then it's going to be simple for LUT Buddy to read that information. Things get complicated though when you start using color correction tools like Magic Bullet Looks or Magic Bullet Colorista 2, which are actually using more than just color data. They're using a whole bunch of other things. Like for example, Colorista 2 uses um, power masks, which isolate areas for color correction. Well, LutBuddy can't read that. So if you're using anything other than basic color correction tools, your changes may not show up. In the case of Colorista Free, even though we've got this awesome interface for color correction, it's really just changing the color of the overall picture and we're not isolating any areas for example so it should read fine coming out of uh, LUT Buddy. So that said let's make some basic changes here I'm just bringing my highlights more into the blue it's a little too much perhaps just do something like that get my midtones again more into the blue and definitely get my shadows more into the blue so we can see before and after, we're definitely pulled out of those yellows in the areas that shouldn't be that yellow. Okay, great. So this is looking good. And uh, what I want to do now is capture the color changes. So let me just twirl this stuff up. And I'm going to choose Effect, Magic Bullet Colorista, and LUT Buddy. And the first thing you need to do is take LUT Buddy and move it to the top of your stack. By the way, I could have just started by adding LUT Buddy, but I didn't want to confuse things. I wanted to just do basic color correction. So with LUT Buddy added to the top here, instead of telling it to apply a LUT, I'm going to tell it to draw a pattern. And this pattern is important because the changes we make to the color are going to affect this pattern. And we can see them. Just take a look. If I play with the curves here, you can see what's happening to the pattern. It's altering the, the color of the pattern. And um, this is what... what LUT Buddy is going to read this pattern that's being generated here. It's going to read this and it's going to create color correction based on the changes that are happening to this lookup table. And what I'm going to do now is again, I'm just going to add uh, LUT Buddy again. And this should be uh, at the bottom of the stack. And it's, again, instead of apply LUT, we're going to tell it to read the pattern. So now it's reading the pattern. What's important is you make sure that these two match. Um, we want to make sure that our patterns are matching, that it's a 3D. 32 uh, pattern in both places because if they're not the same it's going to be reading the wrong pattern uh, data and it, it may not understand. In any case, as long as they match you're good and uh, with that said I'm going to click on options and I'm going to choose to export my LUT and why don't we call this D yellower right and I'm saving this LUT and you can see that there is you have a whole bunch of different kinds of uh, LUTs that you can 
save as. In this case, I'm just going to work with this 3D LUT and uh, you know even your bit depth and whatnot. Um, so let's leave this as is, and I'm clicking OK, and we're done with that. And now we're going to jump into Final Cut Pro, and we're going to import that LUT. And here I am in Final Cut Pro with the same video. And the reason I want to use the same video is so that you can really compare the two uh, programs one to the other and see that the color changes all came in. I have my footage selected and I'm going to choose Effects, Video Filters, Magic Bullet Colorista, and LUT Buddy. And by default it's set to apply the LUT, the lookup table, and that's perfect. So let's just go into our options here and we'll tell it to import our LUT, our D yellower, and I'm clicking on open and I'll click OK. And just so you can see, this is the uh, the lookup table being applied in Final Cut Pro. And all those color corrections are there, and you don't have there you don't have to have the curves effect, you don't have to have colors to free installed. As you can see, the changes are here. And if we go into After Effects, just to look at it again, we can see the exact same color look, although there's some scaling stuff going on here, but that's aside from the fact. In any case, this is the exact same look of color. Anyway, I hope that this helps you in your work. And uh, I just want to mention that even if you're not ready to start doing your own color correction and uh, creating lookup tables, there's a couple of uh, free lookup tables out there that I know of that are really great for uh, just kind of getting certain kinds of looks on your footage. And you should just sort of keep your eyes open for them because there's a lot of great stuff out there. Anyway, that's it. Once again, I'm Aaron Rabinowitz for Red Giant. See you next time.